Hey guys, it's Jesse here and um, today, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, th authentically age or weather your World War II gear, so whether it be, you know, US World War II, whatever, but what I've done is US World War II and my airborne gear, um, it works for uniforms and gear, so in this video I'm going to do my M42 jumpsuit, but as you can see I've already done my, um, uh, my weaving, so I was sick of it looking too clean, because um, in reality the guys uh, literally lived in their gear. The only exception in which they would have been issued a new uniform before D-Day was if their uniform was completely ripped. Other than that they were using the same stuff and they were locked inside the airfields weeks before the jump um, and with the amount of movement going around it would have been pretty muddy. And then let alone the actual invasion, they would be crawling around the whole time, whatnot, swamps and all that. So. Um, here's an example of um, what it looks like when you're finished, so this is my gear, um, and I reckon it looks really good, so it looks real beat up, and it's all artificial, so it's not actually from use. Um, there's three things um, that you need if you want to do this, which I'll explain later, but just taking a close look. So I found out how to... Um, I got some really great tips off this really nice guy um, and I just thought that um, guys like you guys, you needed to um, know how to do it because I reckon it's awesome. Um, so you can just see all the stains, you can see small uh, patches of variation and, um, and then you've got bigger stains, you know it looks like imitation dirt and all that and the thing is, this is all like fake, it's all using quite easy to find materials that most of you guys should have um, and of course it doesn't actually take the usability of your gear down because it doesn't actually damage it or anything um, so let's get to the materials okay so first of all um, you obviously want a working space so I really recommend doing this outside um, it involves flicking things that will stay so yeah do this outside guys so the first thing you need is this solution of like tea and coffee. Um, the method I used it was four teaspoons of instant coffee, two tea bags, and about a cup, cup and a half, two cups. It's up to you for the concentration of uh, boiling water, and that's all mixed together in this yummy mixture. And then you want a spoon or something like that to flick it onto the gear, like that. Then the next thing you want, you guys should have these as uh, reenactors, so dubbin, just like the stuff you use for protecting your boots, it's exactly the same stuff, good old kiwi stuff, and um, some brown shoe polish. So use the dubbin for um, just darkening your gear around like that, and around the edges, and then you can use the shoe polish as like imitation dirt, um, which you can see down here. Okay guys, so I've got my jumpsuit out here. Um, so, um, most of you guys should do this, but just a tip, make sure you've got everything out of your jumpsuit, well, unless you want it to be stained, that is, so, um, just, you know, make sure you've got no jeep caps or anything, uh, in your pockets, and I'm taking my gas brassard off, just in case that ever gets ruined and it looks weird, like, if it's clean there or something, so, um, yeah, so just remember what you want and don't want to get stained, so we'll do the other side of this soon. I've got my trouser belt and suspenders under there, so they're covered up. And um, I'm not going to stain the bottom of this because this would obviously be bloused into the boots. Okay, so you've got your mixture nice and hot. Uh, you can always make up more, so now you just literally get a spoonful and just flick it on. Just don't pour it on, just put it in little bits, it's better to do little because you can always add more otherwise it's permanently stained so just you know put little spoonfuls on flick it from about chest height and uh, see what we can do okay so I've just uh, put on the first bit so this is an ideal kind of first coat I guess so um, now you just want to let it dry so you just want to let it soak in and it will go lighter it'll just make the fabric go a bit lighter or darker something like that so um, I've put quite a bit on the sleeves because um, you know they'd be handling weapons and stuff and then I've put quite a bit down on the knees and around the legs um, because obviously mud flicking up uh, everywhere so 
Now I'll just uh, wait for it to dry or start doing the flip side and uh, yeah. Okay so I've got the flip side done of the jacket or and the pants now. Now you just want to let them dry so hang them up and then see how it turns out. Now we're at the end of the uh, tea and coffee process so I actually did two coats and I've just got a coat hanger there to dry it up and it looks quite nice. So you can see uh, how it's come out on the knees, it looks really good and um, just the general colour variation so now we're moving on to the next stage. Okay so the next stage you want to do is dubbing so you just literally want to get a bit on your fingers and just rub it in around the edges so I'm thinking around the pockets definitely around the collar around the uh, sleeves and stuff like that so just literally put it on with your fingers and rub it in and then also just put some random patches um, anywhere just no specific pattern just start applying it right so straight away we can notice a difference uh, with the dubbing so you just rubbed it in the edges makes it look really worn and used so already you can kind of see this coming together so I went around the pocket edges all down here uh, don't forget the bottom of the skirt um, I did the collar so this part of the collar and also this part and I also did a little bit along here just kinda if you were wearing it where you'd expect it to get worn and definitely down on the sleeve so yeah alright so now the jumpsuits looking pretty filthy I've done both sides uh, finished the dubbing stage now so now I'm not sure if this is uh, fully necessary but what I did was just get a hair dryer and um, just hold it over the parts that have been dubbed just for a while just so it melts in and kind of soaks in so you might want to do that okay so we've done that so now the final stage is to grab our brown boot polish and just apply it with your regular polishing rag and um, this is just pretty much to cover any parts that you haven't done already and all your contact areas because it's imitation dirt so I'm gonna do the elbows, the ass, the back and of course the knees on the trousers stuff like that okay guys so now I'm finished the uh, the boot polish stage so you can definitely see it on there and just some little patches and my jumpsuit's done so Please let me know what you think of it, and if you guys, I hope this helps for those that are wanting to do it, and I hope some of you will do it. And if you do, um, make it a video response, I'm keen to see um, what you guys have done, so you might see me in this soon if I do any more, you know, reenacting uh, slideshow videos. But um, yeah, so please rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.